in this video, I'm going to show you six useful shortcuts powered by Apple Intelligence. As always, all of my shortcuts will be available in the description of this video, so you can download and use them completely for free on your own device. Enjoy! I know you are busy, you don't have a lot of free time, I respect that, so let's go straight to the topic of this video. My first Apple Intelligence shortcut is called Wallpapers Generator. Well, as its name says, it allows you to create custom AI wallpapers on your iPhone. All you have to do is simply type your request, for example, a dog eating a hot dog. You can really try everything you want and your iPhone will generate an image using Image Playground and it will automatically set this image as your wallpaper. You can of course customize this and use as your wallpaper. Let's try something different, for example, a wallpaper of paradise. Wait a couple of seconds because it processes the image in the background using Image Playground and in a couple of seconds you have a custom paradise wallpaper for your iPhone. Let's try something else, for example, the wallpaper of a lot of small blue apples, whatever. Wait a couple of seconds and the wallpaper generator will generate a custom unique wallpaper for your iPhone. How cool is that? You can really play with this shortcut and create your own custom-made Apple Intelligence wallpapers, like for example, beautiful green gradient or something like that. Just wait a couple of seconds and your custom gradient wallpaper will be automatically generated by your iPhone. I think it looks beautiful, it looks stunning. You know, for the internal AI generation tool, it's pretty impressive. All in all, Apple Intelligence is not so bad, it can be useful. Let's have a look on the structure of the shortcut. It's very simple, so it's basically requesting you your input, your text, then create image of your input text using Image Playground and set this image for the lock screen and home screen. Super easy. My Apple Intelligence shortcut number two is called Doc Summarizer. Well, as its name says, it allows you to quickly summarize PDF documents. For example, I have a huge book about problem solving. All I have to do is simply select my document, in this case a book, and the Apple Intelligence private cloud compute will analyze the document and it will give me a brief summary of this document. As you can see, this one is pretty detailed. It gives me, you know, the summary of every chapter, part one, part two, key concepts, uh, additional features, and, you know, the global summary at the end. All in all, it's pretty accurate because recently I have read this book and I can confirm that this thing is working very nice. Let's use something different, for example, let's summarize the CV of a project manager. The Apple Private Cloud Compute will privately analyze the document and will provide you with a detailed summary of your document. So in this case, it's a CV of a person. Of course, the CV is already a sort of a resume of your experience, but you know, I like this tool because it can give you a brief summary um, and it's just, it's just better. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably one of the most useful shortcuts in my workflow because I can easily analyze PDF documents and then just, you know, read the essential information. For instance, I'm reading the, uh, the promotional details of a Sony Alpha camera, so I don't have to open the PDF document. I can just have a quick glance on the key details like, you know, the dates and summary and bullet points. Trust me, it's very useful and it works surprisingly well. So Apple Private Cloud Compute really works very, very nice. Lastly, let's try to summarize a pretty large and complex PDF book from McKinsey. It's a problem-solving book. Let's see how Apple Intelligence will handle such a big PDF document. 
So sometimes you have to wait a couple of seconds and you have the moral response. The McKinsey way, blah blah, is a book by someone. So it gives you the key concepts. Um, I would say it's pretty correct. And the coolest part about private cloud compute that you are not sharing your data with ChatGPT. Everything is processed anonymously on Apple's own web servers. Let's have a look on the structure of the shortcut so you can better understand how it works. The structure is very simple. It asks you for an input, files, your PDF document, then it uses the cloud model, Apple Private Cloud Compute, and it summarizes the following document, and if possible, it adds bullet points. And finally, it shows the response in quick look, so you can copy and paste the final result. Alternatively, if you want to use uh, the on-device model, you can also choose it, but it will take more time and obviously more battery life because everything will be processed on-device. If you value privacy, you can choose the model to on-device, but I'm using the cloud model. My Apple Intelligence shortcut number three is called Use AI Model. Basically, it's an Apple Intelligence chatbot. You can type your request, for example, History of New York, and you can choose one of three models, Cloud, On Device, or ChatGPT. Let's use the Cloud model. It's the best model in my opinion because it uses Apple Private Cloud Compute, so you are not sharing your data with ChatGPT. After a couple of seconds, you'll get an answer on your question, and it's pretty correct. It gives me a comprehensive history of New York. You can also go to an airplane mode. I'm gonna show you that my request will be processed locally on my device. Let's ask something different, like interesting facts about Monaco. On device, let's choose this model. As you can see, my iPhone is in airplane mode, Sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer since the answer is processed locally on your device, but the biggest advantage is privacy. And yes, here are some interesting facts about Monaco and it's, it's accurate. So it tells me about the history, cultural heritage, economy. You can copy the data and paste it in any app of your choice. So it's a kind of cool, small little chatbot uh, that you can use on your iPhone. You can ask different questions. I really like it. And finally, if you want to use the power of ChatGPT, you can also use ChatGPT. You have this option here. So this is use AI model shortcut. By the way, I made a separate video about this one. So if you're interested, check it out. This one will be useful for everyone who wants to lose weight or just control your calories intake. So for example, I have this small banana. I will use Apple Intelligence and Shortcuts app to analyze the calories on this image. Let's remove this little small potato because it may confuse the system. You just take a picture and it will analyze your image using Apple Private Cloud Compute and it will give you the comprehensive uh, calories details about this product. So it analyzes the size of the banana, calories, and it gives you an approximate amount of calories on the picture. This shortcut is so useful. All you have to do is simply place your food or your plate in a restaurant, launch the shortcut, take a picture, wait a couple of seconds, the shortcut is processing your data using Apple Private Cloud Compute and it gives you the estimation based on your image. And I should admit it's pretty accurate. And everything is super private, so you are not sharing your data with ChatGPT. So again, if you are concerned about privacy, it's not only about privacy, it's also about speed. I think it works really faster than ChatGPT. Personally, I don't like AI and Apple intelligence even less, but in this case, it really makes your life easier because tracking calories is not easy. Sometimes people can be demotivated because of the amount of calculations you have to do in your head. So simply use this shortcut, take a picture, snap a quick picture, and it will estimate the calories in your food. 
It can also help you to make a better food choices. So in this case, Apple Intelligence is really making your life easier. The structure of this shortcut is super simple. Take one photo with back camera, use cloud model, use the photo and estimate and count calories. Apple Intelligence shortcut number five is called Camera Summarizer. Let me show you how it works. So here's a practical use case. Recently, I received a pretty long message from Apple. This is a classic paper letter I got from Apple. And I will use the shortcut and the power of Apple Intelligence to summarize it and analyze this text. So I, I, I took the picture, use photo, all I have to do is just wait a couple of seconds and it will be processed using Apple Private Cloud Compute and here is the output. The later is dated May 13th, 2025 and it gives me a brief summary of the message. So you can use this shortcut in various situations when you have long emails or some kind of complex text that you want to summarize in just a few sentences. You can use it, you know, in different situations. It's just a quick camera summarizer and everything is private. So the image is not processed using ChatGPT. Everything is processed using Apple intelligence. You can choose either to use on device model or cloud compute. I really recommend you to use the cloud compute model because it's faster. As you can see, just a couple of seconds, it gives me a quick overview of the information, key information, preparation instructions, ingredients, additional information, and the summary in French, because the original text is in French. Remember that you can always customize my shortcuts and make them even better or really tailor them to your personal use on this example, um, it summarizes the information of the photo if the text is not in English. Also, it makes a summary in the original language of the text. In my case, it's French. So you can really adapt the shortcut to your own needs. So that would be camera summarizer shortcut. It's almost the end of this video. Thank you for staying until the end. And let's have a look on my last shortcut, Apple Private Cloud Compute. It's a custom chatbot. It's a Siri, aka Apple Intelligence chatbot, where you can ask various questions using the keyboard. Um, let's ask something weird, like for example, how to become rich, whatever. I've compared this Apple Intelligence shortcut to ChatGPT and sometimes Apple Private Cloud Compute is even faster than ChatGPT. I'm talking about the free version because I'm using this one. Um, you can also ask various questions, for example, what's the population of China? Imagine you're working on some school essay and you need this data, it will provide you with an answer. And again, everything works very, very fast. Lastly, last but not least, you can also add attachments. You can add attachments to this chatbot. Let's choose this sample CV of a project manager and I can ask questions about this attachment. Okay, so to analyze the PDF document, in this case, the CV, and will provide me with an answer. Is she a good fit for the banking industry? Because I know I know the answer, but let's test the Apple intelligence. And based on Barbara Morris resume, she appears to be a strong candidate for banking industry. It really provides you with a comprehensive analysis of, of her CV and it, it gives you an answer of, of your question. It's really cool and you can follow up on the conversation. You can ask additional questions. For example, she's based in America and based on the information provided in your PDF document, Apple Intelligence will provide you a comprehensive answer. So in this case, yes, this candidate is from America. You know, it's just an example. You can use it in various situations. It's your own private chatbot.